हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू श्री टेक एजुकेशन यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस गियर ट्रेंड्स मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन गियर ट्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वाट इज गियर ट्रेन वाट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ गियर ट्रेंड्स हाउ टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन इपिसाइकिल गियर ट्रेन ऑन बाई यूजिंग टेबुलर मेथड इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस the multiple choice questions based on gear train which are important for the preparation of gate exam rto exam or various technical exams uh, in upsc as well as mpsc now let us start the first question is the ratio of speed of driver to driven is called as options are speed ratio train value train ratio or speed value now you have studied that if suppose simple gear train is there in that first gear is driver second gear is driven then the speed ratio is speed of driver divided by speed of driven this is called as speed ratio and what is train value train value is exactly opposite of this it is the ratio of velocity of driven to velocity of driver gear isn't it therefore answer will be a that is speed ratio second objective is in a simple gear train there is an odd number of idler idlers the direction of rotation of driver and driven gears will be so there is a simple gear train in which there is odd number of idler gears in example i have shown here suppose abc are the simple gear train in which odd number of gear i have mounted one number of gear i have mounted as idler gear then the direction of rotation of driver and driven gear will be observe that diagram once again a gear is rotating in anti clockwise direction therefore b is mesh externally to it therefore the b gear will rotate in opposite direction of a gear c gear is again mesh with externally with gear b therefore c gear will rotate in opposite direction of b therefore a anti clockwise b clockwise c again anti clockwise therefore direction of rotation of driver and driven gear is in the same direction for odd number of gears odd number of idler gears therefore the option correct for this is in the same direction b option will be correct for this objective next third objective the main difference in compound gear train and reverted gear train is now you know compound gear train the gear train in which on single gear sorry on a single shaft two or more than two gears can be mounted so in this diagram also on shaft on second shaft you can observe that two and three gears are mounted on third shaft four and fifth gear is mounted therefore these two will be compound gears in a reverted gear train what happens in first and second shaft sorry in input shaft and output shaft one gear is mounted and those shafts are coaxial yes there are compound gears in reverted gear train two and three gears are compound gear because they are mounted in same shaft but the input and output shafts are having coaxial axis this is the difference now therefore what is question main difference in compound and reverted gear train is the answer is shaft position because in compound gear train shafts are parallel to each other in reverted gear train here input and output shaft is coaxial answer is c shaft position fourth in simple gear train velocity ratio is independent of idler gear whether it is true or false i will read question once again in simple gear train velocity ratio is independent of idle gear so consider a simple gear train an idler gear then apply velocity ratio for this simple gear train then i will got for 
a gear considered as a first gear b gear as a second c gear as a third gear therefore velocity ratio between first and second will be n1 upon n2 driver upon driven for second meshing gears b and c that is second and third the velocity ratio will be n2 upon n3 therefore n2 n2 will get cancel remaining will be n1 upon n3 in terms of teeth also i have written is equal to t3 upon t1 because t2 t2 cancels now the velocity ratio you got for this simple gear train having one idler gear as n1 upon n3 therefore speed of first gear divided by speed of last gear therefore this velocity ratio it doesn't depends on the idler gear velocity similarly for teeth also t it, the velocity ratio is t3 upon t1 number of teeth on third gear divided by number of teeth on first gear it doesn't depend on idler gear number of teeth as well therefore velocity ratio is independent on idler gear therefore this statement is true next in a simple gear train of three gear wheels the first gear has a 20 teeth second gear has a 10 teeth and third gear has a 40 teeth now consider this diagram first gear is a 20 teeth second has a 10 third has a 40 teeth the speed ratio of the third gear to first gear and the directions are that means speed ratio is asked for the first gear and last gear or third gear to first gear now uh your previous in previous objective also you have seen that the velocity ratio it doesn't depends on the idler gear therefore here also velocity ratio i can write as a n1 upon n n1 upon n3 is equal to t3 upon t1 now this velocity ratio for finding velocity ratio in this problem velocities are not given but teeths are given therefore i can put here value of teeth as a t3 divided by t1 40 divided by 20 therefore ratio will be 2 velocity ratio for this gear train will be 2 and one more thing is asked that is direction the direction of input and output now observe this gear train once again if the first gear is rotating in the anti clockwise direction due to idler gear last gear will also rotate in the same direction because only three gears are there only one idler gear is there if odd number of idler gears are there the direction of rotation will be same in previous objective also we have seen same thing therefore option correct for this fifth objective is d velocity ratio will be 2 and direction of rotation will be same now sixth in a simple gear train there is even number of idlers there is even number of idlers one previous objective we have seen in which in simple gear train there is odd number of idler gears in this objective it is even number of idler gear the direction of rotation of driver and driven will be it will be opposite it will be opposite answer will be opposite because previously for odd number it is same for even number it will be opposite for example consider uh, a bow diagram uh, having a b c gears one more gear add as a d gear in front of c mesh with c then you can observe that consider a gear as a driver and d gear as a driven and b and c gear are idler gear these two gears are even numbers even or idler gears i have added then direction of rotation of a gear will be is anti clockwise b will be clockwise c will be again anti clockwise d will be again clockwise therefore a and d will rotate in opposite direction the answer for this sixth objective is a in opposite direction next objective in a reverted gear train as shown in figure what will be number of teeth on gear 4 what will be number of teeth on gear 4 if number of teeth on gears 1 2 and 3 are 30 20 and 35 respectively that means 
number of teeth for the fourth gear are asked and one two three gear number of teeth are given now we know that this is a reverted gear train for reverted gear train we can write one relationship between the diameters or radius of all the gears because input and output shaft are coaxial therefore i can write the distance between these two coaxial shaft and this another shaft is same or remaining constant therefore i can write r1 plus r2 is equal to r3 plus r4 therefore and next i can write these radiuses directly in terms of number of teeth because when two gears are in mesh the circular pitch or module for these gears must be same this we have seen in previous videos as well isn't it this relation how it comes r1 plus r2 is equal to t1 plus t2 and r3 plus r4 is equal to t3 plus t4 that we have seen in previous videos as well now here also apply this relationship t1 plus t2 is equal to t3 plus t4 you can get value of t4 because number of fourth gear teeth are asked and values 30 plus 20 is equal to 35 plus t4 you can get t4 as a 15 so answer will be b eighth objective the train value of gear gear train is it is the reciprocal of speed ratio what is speed ratio velocity of driver upon driven what is train value velocity of driven upon driver therefore it is reciprocal of velocity ratio of gear train remember this train value next when the axis of first and last gear are coaxial then the gear train is known as and the gear train is known as a reverted gear train that we have seen already in previous videos video of types of gear train input and output shaft if are they are coaxial it is called as a reverted gear train next in clock mechanism the gear train used to connect the minute hand and hour hand is in ninth objective you have studied uh, in reverted gear train input and output shafts are coaxial isn't it now in clock mechanism for minute hand and hour hand both are coaxial both are coaxial but rotating with different speed that we can achieve by only reverted gear train therefore in clock mechanism also the gear train used to connect minute hand and hour hand is reverted gear train option b is correct for this of mcq next in a gear train when the axis of shaft over which the gears are mounted move relative to a fixed axis is called in a river in a gear train when the axis of shaft over which the gears are mounted consider this small gear in animation over which sorry consider this gear over which the another gear is mounted and which move relative to the fixed axis of that first gear this type of gear train is called as a epicyclic gear train isn't it next 12th objective a differential gear in an automobile is a I have shown one animation of differential gear box this is used generally in the automobiles or four-wheelers heavy-duty vehicles in the rear axle for some purpose that purpose I will discuss uh, for the next objective but just for this objective remember that a differential gearbox in an automobile is an epicyclic gear train so option B is correct for this objective next a differential gear in automobile is used to so here I have shown one diagram in this diagram you can observe that to connect this rear axle a differential gearbox is used and its main function is while taking turn to allow the two wheels of rear axle to rotate with a different speed this is its main function 
so from this from these options you can choose the differential gear in automobile is used to reduce the speed no to assist in changing speed no to provide the jerk free moment of vehicle no helps in turning this is the correct answer help in turning fourth 14th in the below sun and planet type of epicyclic gear train sun gear is input gear which is rotated in anti clockwise direction which is rotated in anti clockwise direction what will be direction of rotation of annular gear so in this animation i have given directions of rotations but in prob but, but if it is a steady diagram then observe that sun gear is if suppose rotating in anti clockwise direction this sun gear is connected to planet gears these three planet gears are there now these are external image gears sun gear and planet gear therefore the planet gear will rotate in opposite direction of rotation of sun gear sun gear is rotating in anti clockwise therefore planet gears will rotate in clockwise direction now these planet gears are connected to annular gear or mesh with annular gear and this annular gear and planet gears are meshing internally therefore the direction of rotation of these two gear will be same remember this thing if two gears are meshing externally direction of rotation of these two gear will be opposite and if two gears are meshing internally the direction of rotation of these two gear will be in same direction so here the annular gear will rotate in same direction as that of a planet gear isn't it but planet gear is rotating opposite of sun gear therefore annular gear will ro also rotate in opposite direction of sun gear so answer b will be correct for this objective it will rotate in opposite direction so thanks for watching this video for uh, further videos stay tuned with this youtube channel subscribe to this street tech education video channel thanks for watching